Investigators say the Cessna Skymaster hit the ground nose first when it crashed. You can see the wide debris field near a pond at the Avon Park bombing range. Today, the NTSB will bring in a team to the crash site to begin collecting wreckage, including both engines of the plane. The busted up and smashed plane parts may provide hints as to what went wrong. Ralph Hicks is with the NTSB and is heading up the investigation on site. We're here to document the facts, document the evidence, and uh, take photographs, uh, wreckage diagrams, interview witnesses, all those kind of things, and that'll be uh, happening in the next couple days. Witnesses of the accident Wednesday night say it didn't sound like the plane stalled when it was going down and that weather was rough with possible low visibility. A loud bang, but you didn't see any any flames or anything because it was foggy and it was raining. You heard the prop on the plane spin. It sounded like it hit the dirt like whoa, like that. You heard, then you heard the crash. Another thing we've learned, there was no reported radio traffic from the pilot of the plane before it crashed.